Welcome to my top three time-saving tips with Outlook. You've got here because you want to learn how to save time using Outlook and here are three of my favorite tips. I've got loads more but I've picked these three for this video. I'm going to be using Outlook 2016 in the account of my alter ego Lisa Jones and I wanted just to let you know that these tips apply both to Office 2010 and Office 2013 as well. So without any further ado, let's see what my top three tips are. Here are my top three tips. So tip number one, creating a quick step to move the email that you're replying to to the folder that you choose. So set this up that when you hit reply using this quick step, it will automatically prompt you for the folder to place it into. The second tip is a standard text email. So here I can create an email with standard text, something I do on a regular basis. It's always ready to go and then I can just click a button and all I need to do is add in any extra text that I may have. And the third step tip is how to create an email, a quick step that automatically forwards the current email to somebody else. So if I always need to send to my boss, I can click my forward to quick step and it will set up taking the email I'm on ready addressed to the person I want to send it to. And we're going to hop into Outlook now and see how that works. Let's create that first quick step, which is a move and reply quick step. So I have an email here from Sarah and I want to move it into a particular folder. And I can do that with this quick step. So I'll come up to my quick step area on the ribbon, click the drop down and go to new quick step. Now this one is a move email but it's not just a move so I'm not going to use the standard move to folder. I'm going to go for a custom one. In here I get to name it so I'm going to call it move and reply and I'm going to choose my action and my action is move to folder. Then I get to choose which folder I want to move it to. So I'll click the drop down and I can choose any of my currently recently used folders or I can make it always ask for a folder and that's what I want to do so that when I file this email it will prompt me and ask me where to put it. So I'm just gonna, I can add a keyboard shortcut if I wish but I'm not going to for the minute. I'll click finish and now it's sitting there in my folder. So here I've got this email from Sarah called training on Thursday. I'm gonna click move and reply it's going to prompt me for where to put it. So I am in Lisa's inbox. So I'm going to pop it in Lisa's filing. I'm going to stick it in my filing folder for Lisa. I'll click OK. It's now gone. And if I come into the folder list and into that filing folder, there is that email that I just sent. So that's my move and reply. And I like that because it helps me keep my inbox up to date. My second tip was how to create a quick step with standard text. So again, I'll come to the drop down here, new quick step and custom. And from here, I'm going to call this thank you. I'm going to choose an action. So in this case, I'm going to set a response. Now this could be a new message. So I just click this to start a brand new message. I could be forwarding a message. I could be setting up a standard reply. So I'm gonna to choose to create a standard reply. My standard reply is, needs some text in it. For that, I'll click show options. And in the text box, I'm going to say, thanks for coming to the event last week. We will be in touch with a quote shortly. Whatever that might be. I've just come up with that. It could be here is your regular weekly invoice note report whatever. Um, I don't need to edit anything into the to box because this is a response. I'll click finish and there it is. It's called thank you. Now watch what happens. I'm on this email to Shelley. I'll click thank you and it will set up my reply. It's just thinking about it. There it is. Um, 
and I just bring it into the window for you. So you can see there's my reply with the standard text inside it. Now I'm not going to um, save that or send it. That's just an example of how that works. So my third quick step tip is how to create an email to automatically forward something. So I'll click the drop down here, new quick step, and forward to is already an option. So I'm just going to click that. I'll choose, um, I'm going to call this Shelley, because I'm going to choose from my um, list, I'm going to always fo forward this email to Shelley, and I'll finish. And again, if I now click uh, my forward to Im email, there it is, it's going to take the current email readily addressed to Shelley. So you can see that it's a really quick way of doing something. I don't need to add any text, but it's there if I want to. Thanks for listening and watching my top three Outlook tips. If you need any more information or want to find out how we can help you further save time and money for your organisation by investing in some excellent IT training, then do give us a call on the numbers on the screen. You can call us on 0208 203 1774 or you could visit our website www.theittrainingsurgery.com or you could get in touch with me direct. I'm Shelley.Fischel at the ittrainingsurgery.com or drop us an email to inquiries at the ittrainingsurgery.com. I'm at Shelley Fischel on Twitter and you can we also have a Facebook page for the IT Training Surgery and of course our YouTube channel. So hopefully we'll connect up again soon and do get in touch for more help. And that's it. Thanks for this and see you again soon.